Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a SEMrush review guys in 2020 and this is a keyword research tool that I've been using now for a while and I honestly think it is one of the best that I've used guys. Um, I've even uh, used AH, Ahrefs before guys um, and you know I've used both of them with YouTube um, and I use it you know to rank my videos better and find the best keywords and I must say that SEMrush is a lot better than a Ahrefs in my opinion. I just gravitate towards it more and I like the keyword research tool for it um, and the features a lot more. However, Ahrefs is pretty good as well. Um, and in this video, guys, I'm going to go over the pricing and all the features of SEMrush to help you guys make the right decision um, if you want to purchase it or not. And yeah, guys, so if at the end of the video you do feel like you want to purchase it, um, I will have the link down below where you guys can actually go ahead and purchase that. It's called techcheap.co slash SEMrush. Just use this link and you'll be able to go ahead and directly purchase it. And also you get a free trial, seven day trial. And if you don't like it, um, you can just get your money back um, and they refund it really easily, guys. So you, don't, you won't lose any money if you do not like it at all, guys. So yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. So first I'm gonna, this is the dashboard, by the way. But right now I'm gonna show you guys the pricing of SEMrush. It is a little bit costly, but all keyword tools um, are pretty costly in my opinion. Um, you know, if you go with the monthly plan, um, um, you know, it's you're not gonna save that much. However, if you go with the annual plan, you do save 16% as you guys can see However, let's just check out the pricing really quick So as you guys can see for the pro the lowest plan you get it's 99 95 per month. So basically hundred dollars per month, which is um, You know, like I said guys, it is a little pricey. However, this is for people that want to take their um, You know their internet marketing or business to the next level because it is gonna allow you to find a lot of like long tail keywords and keywords that will make you the most profit. I use this all the time before I upload um, YouTube videos. Um, you know, when I'm thinking of ideas, I'll actually like type in that keyword that I'm thinking of, and you know, just go down the list and look for like niches and um, long, long tail keywords and everything like that. And it definitely helps me out a lot because I use it pretty much every single day, guys. Um, you know, if you're doing a lot of videos on YouTube or like SEO and looking for the best keywords to rank in, then honestly, you do need a keyword research tool, and the free ones usually aren't gonna cut it. Um, but you can use some free ones. Um, sometimes I like to go on YouTube and actually just type in random keywords and see what the uh, you, what YouTube suggests. That's a really good way to see like keywords as well, um, and you know find niches. Um, but you know like that can only get you but so far. And sometimes you really do need to pay for um, a subscription on um, you know something like Semrush to help you get to the next level, guys. So. One of my favorite features, guys, um, after you purchase it, you know, you pick your plan, blah, blah, blah. One of my, this is the dashboard, by the way. And one of my favorite features is honestly that I'm always using is the keyword magic tool. So, you know, you just come here and this is basically where you're gonna find like, um, where you're gonna be able to go, go ahead and type in any keyword that you can think of. Um, so I usually do this for, um, you know, like finding niches. And if I already found the niche, I can put that niche in here and find even more um, niches within that niche, you know, if that makes any sense, you could find even more key like keywords and ideas in a certain niche. For example, like VPN niche, um, someone might type in like like VPN best VPN four, and then it will give you like all of these um, ideas. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and type that in right now, and that's how you would find an idea like best VPN for Netflix, best VPN for iPhone. You know what I'm saying? So basically, like the VPN is the niche. However, you just using your like just using your brain you thought of the VPN niche. However, you need something now to actually go ahead and find even more ideas for you because most people cannot just do that off the top of their head. Um, so, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and we just typed in best VPN for, and now it just fills in the blank for us. And then you can also use broad match, phrase match, exact match, and related. Um, broad match is like if, I don't really use broad match, I usually use phrase match um, because I don't want it to like, scramble too much with the keyword i like to keep it a little bit basic uh, i mean keep it relevant um exact match won't be that good because it, it won't like it will find you a lot less keywords and I, I just stick to phrase match and then you just scroll down and guys check it out we've got eight thousand keywords to work with almost eight thousand one hundred keywords you know how many videos i can make with that like that's so many ideas right there guys as you can tell and it tells you the volume you know the trend it shows you a little trend graph which is pretty cool um, it show, and shows you this uh, keyword difficulty, which is pretty useful to know. Um, so let's read this really quick. The keyword difficulty index from 1 to 100. Um, so yeah, this is very important. All this stuff is very important, guys. I usually 
um, look for something with a little bit, uh, not that much difficulty and high volume. Sometimes that's a little bit hard to find though because usually if it has high volume, then a lot of other internet marketers are getting to it before you are. Um, and that's just how it goes. I mean, like, just, it's a very competitive um, field online, guys. So, but of course, you can always find there's a lot of niches that are untapped, and you could find a lot of them that don't have a lot of competition but do have a lot of search volume. So, you know, here's one example, guys. I just typed in best VPN for and look at all this. And now, all I got to do is make like one profitable, you know, video or, you know, uh, SEO blog. And I just made that hundred dollars that I'm paying for this every month back, you know, in like one day or like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not that much if you're going to be using it and you're going to be coming up with profitable ideas, guys. You know, the list just goes down on and on and on. I mean, look at this, all of these um, niches that, I mean, all these keywords that have the potential to be tapped into and make some easy profit, guys. Um, you know, this is just the example of the VPN, um, VPN niche, but you know, you can go on and on and on. And anything that you could think of will be on here um, so let's go ahead and try something else guys um, best uh, best web hosting because that's another profitable niche in terms of affiliate marketing um, so you, as you guys can see a hat like this is exact same setup you know it tells you it just fills in the blank for you um, you know f and you can also um, sort by I don't usually do that. I just scroll down and just like copy the, the keyword um, you know, I'll just copy the keyword. Let me find one that actually makes sense. Um, okay, I'll just copy the keyword and then uh, paste it into YouTube. And then I just get a feel of what the traffic, I mean, the competition is, um, you know, and try to see like what I'm up against. And if, if I don't like how it looks, then, you know, I just go back and look for more keywords. Um, and also guys, that, that makes me mention, I forgot to mention, um, if you are doing YouTube and you plan to do keyword research, well, another keyword, uh, another um, thing I recommend a lot is vidIQ. Um, and this is like an extension that shows you like someone's keywords for their video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys an example. So I'm gonna click on one of my videos here, um, how to change country on Netflix. All right guys, so this one's doing pretty good. And as you guys could see, it tells you um, the keywords that the person is using on their video. Um, all, and, and it's doing this all for free by the way and it tells you um, how many views per hour they're getting this one is a little bit um, sometimes not that accurate but I think it for the most part is pretty accurate um, you know it tells them what rank they are so as you can see I'm rank one for most of my keywords which is pretty sweet and you know it's a pretty good tool to use guys and it helps you out with your market with your um, keyword research um, as you can find the keywords of any other videos um, so yeah guys in my opinion SEMrush is honestly one of the best keyword research tools I've not experimented too much with it in with SEO. I use it mainly for YouTube because that's what I do. I don't really do SEO that much, um, but there's a lot of other SEO tools that you guys can look into. As you can see, they've got the content template, lead generation, and like I said, guys, if you do wind up not liking it, you can always just refund, get your money back, and get the refund very easily. It's not like they're gonna take your money and not give it back to you. Very very easy, guys. So you know, like I said, my favorite tool, I mean, feature is the keyword magic tool. But um, yeah, um, other than that guys, I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Like I said guys, the pricing is a little bit hefty, but most keyword research tools are gonna be like that. Um, unless you wanna use a free one. Um, I haven't had much success with free ones. Like I said, most of the time the free ones will even block most of the information because they'll tell you to, up to see like the more uh, analytics you have to upgrade. Um, so yeah, the free ones usually don't work. And you know, if you want to like make more money online, then you need to know, um, you know, you need to find the good keywords. And it's kind of hard to do that without a keyword research tool. Is it possible? Yes, but you know, if you want to make it more convenient and save save more time, this tool will definitely help you with that, guys. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Don't forget about the link. Um, you know, if you guys want to purchase it, techcheap.co/semrush. I'll leave that in the link down below. I mean, in the description and comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace out.